The movie screen is a medium which points beyond itself because it is by definition an unfinished medium. Take this shot from 2001 for example. We see that the monolith, which represents the movie screen, is shot in such a way that it appears as a pointer rather than a presenter. If the movie screen could present things, it would appear as a black triangle. Then it could be seen as a finished medium. But as the screen isn't finished, the triangle only is suggested by the screen. In this way, the screen points beyond itself. The screen is a surface, which is two-dimensional. The screen suggests a triangle, because it suggests two converging lines. Lines are one-dimensional. The point to which the lines converge is zero-dimensional. In this way, the two-dimensional screen appears to us as a pointer to the zero-dimensional. There's a similar shot in 2001 which presents the monolith as a pointer. In both shots we see a celestial body which reflects light. Any celestial body which reflects light with its surface represents the movie screen. Also, both celestial bodies are showed as a bow. This indicates the movie screen functioning as a bow beyond itself. So it's interesting that in this shot the monolith points to the celestial body and in this shot the monolith points beyond the celestial body which is emphasized by the sound as the sound in this shot is of a higher frequency than the sound in this shot. So when you combine these two shots you'll see that the monolith functions as a bow as the monolith points beyond the bow so in the combination of these two shots, we see how the monolith or the movie screen bows beyond itself. It's not for nothing that in 2001, this man is called David Bowman and wears a helmet with a Boeing visor, which represents the Boeing movie screen. The screen bowing beyond itself even is shown literally towards the end of 2001. We see the monolith rotating or bowing beyond the screen or beyond itself. In Close Encounters, the protagonist, Roy Neary, doesn't realize that the sculptures he's creating are meant to be unfinished. As long as Roy sees the sculpture as a finished object, he doesn't understand its meaning. Roy knows the sculpture points to something beyond itself, as he says, This means something. But the problem is that he sees the sculpture as an object pointing to itself, showed in this scene. We see Roy first going from the three-dimensional shape to the two-dimensional shape as he starts to focus on the surface of the sculpture. Then he starts to draw lines on the surface. The lines are one-dimensional and function as pointers. But the problem is that the lines point to the sculpture itself, resulting in Roy seeing the sculpture as an object and not as a pointer. Therefore Roy has a revelation at the moment he realizes that the sculpture isn't finished, that the sculpture actually is a pointer just like the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey. And it was the director of this movie, Stanley Kubrick, who said about this movie that it just wasn't finished. Thanks for watching.